The combined face and whole eye transplant procedure was divided into several stages. Donor allograft procurement, recipient facial preparation, and final allograft inset. The donor facial incision extended along the lateral neck, proceeding to include supraorbital tissue above the left eye and infraorbital tissue below the right. Soft tissue dissection proceeded to identify major blood vessels and nerves of the face. The branches of the facial nerve were carefully dissected circumferentially and transected distally on the right. On the left, the facial nerve was dissected circumferentially and transected at the level of the trunk as it exits the base of the skull. The mental nerves were also carefully identified, divided, and included within the allograft to preserve sensation to the lower lip and chin. The scalp and soft tissues of the forehead were then reflected forward and dissection proceeded down to the periosteal layer. Prefabricated 3D printed patient specific cutting guides were secured and used to guide the zygomatic, nasal frontal, and maxillary osteotomies. This was followed by a geniotomy and placement of a separate cutting guide to direct the craniotomy, allowing access to the superior orbit. The orbital box osteotomy was then translated forward to allow for access to the retroorbital structures, including the ophthalmic vein, artery, and the optic nerve. A previously freed superficial temporal artery and vein were then rotated into the posterior orbit and anastomosed to the ophthalmic artery and vein, functionally creating a bypass to maintain perfusion to the globe and its surrounding structures. The external and internal jugular veins along with the internal and external carotid arteries were then circumferentially dissected and transected, marking completion of the donor allograft procurement. Simultaneously, the recipient underwent surgery to excise previously injured and scarred tissue to create mirroring defects for precise adaptation of the donor face. A mirroring incision was used with subsequent removal of the external scar tissue along the neck, ears, eyelids, and face, allowing for meticulous dissection of essential structures including the facial and mental nerves. Cutting guides were used to guide skeletal subunit osteotomies precisely matching those of the donor facial allograft. Attention was directed to the left orbit of the patient where periorbital tissue was removed to provide optimal access of the ophthalmic vein, artery, and optic nerve, which were isolated and transected in preparation for transplantation. At this time, the facial allograft was brought into its appropriate position and rigid fixation was performed at the level of the chin using low profile titanium plates and screws. The cut ends of the mental nerves were approximated at this time. Using an operating microscope, the optic nerve coaptation was then performed. Bone marrow that was harvested from the donor and processed preoperatively to isolate CD34 stem cells were then brought into the operating field and injected along the side of the optic nerve coaptation to stimulate nerve regeneration. The donor midface and orbital zygomatic bony subunits were then affixed to those of the recipient using low profile titanium plates and screws, confirming anatomic replacement of all bony subunits and fixation into the appropriate positions. Using the operating microscope, the donor jugular veins were anastomosed end to side with that of the recipient. Recipient external carotid arteries were also anastomosed end to end with donor carotids, ultimately restoring perfusion and drainage of the allograft. The soft tissues including the eyelids, nasal, and oral mucosa of the allograft were then redraped and tailored to the recipient. 
This marked the completion of the combined partial face and unilateral ocular transplant for restoration after severe electrical voltage injury.